ladies and gentlemen, we are fresh off the heels of our anniversary event, WrestleFest. This is SCW Rewind. After months of grueling tournament matches, we have finally reached the finals in our SCW Cruiserweight Championship title tournament. And the two men who made it to the finals are the one they call Spider and the everyday challenger, Troy Twain. Let's go ahead and get it on down to Rich in the ring for the intros for this match. Ladies and gentlemen, the following match is scheduled for one fall. And it is the inaugural SCW Cruiserweight Championship. Put it back on, Scotty. Introducing first, standing to my left here, he is standing in at the tallest in the room, and at 4,000 pounds of none of your business. He is from anywhere but Arkansas, especially here. He is the one that all spider and standing directly across me standing at five foot ten inches tall Weighing in at 180 pounds, he is from Hot Spring, Arkansas. The Everyday Challenger, Troy Twain! Your referee for this match is Joey Lynn. Well, Carl, the time has come. The culmination of three months worth of matches. We're at the end of our tournament. This is the finals. We are about to crown the first ever SCW Cruiserweight Champion. Carl, I am teeming with excitement. Very doubtful. Spider said he's more of a man he can do with one hand. Spider, Spider ducked that lockup. I agree with Spider. He put that shirt back on. All the lights he left that hell body, I can't see. It. Oh, oh. test of strength here. Who's going to come out on top? Spider's got the height, but oh! Kicks Twain, oh! That's the way you get that. Rolled up that arm. Got him in the corner. Oh! Drags him down, and he clubs him, clubs him, clubs him. The spider is on his back, and Twain is, whoo. Twain is all kinds of fired up right now. Whoa, little, little fire out of the white belly, Troy. Twit. 
Oh, that wide belly got itself a boot. Flip over, rolls him up. Back, oh, ducks another clothesline. Ducks another clothesline, and Troy Twain takes the mat straight to the face. Well, what do you expect? Troy Twain doesn't have a brain cell in Oh, a nice little drop kick. Spiders in the corner. Catches a forearm from Twain. Another forearm. Another forearm to the jaw. Keeps clubbing. Twain walking out, coming back. Oh, knee to the chest. Going forward. Bulldog! Hooks the leg, one, just a kick out, real quick. Spider rolls to the outside. Is it really hurt or is Spider faking, do you think? He don't fake, he's not. Troy Twitt, he don't lie. Oh, hooks him up on the top rope. Twain goes flat on his back. Uh-oh. Spider took off the arm brace. Spider took the sling off, and now he walks across Twain. Drops him for a neck breaker. Spider hooks one leg. One, two. Twain kicks out at two. That hurt arm, he didn't get much, much hold on them legs. Yeah, Carl, things are looking okay for your friend the spider right now. It's going to be all right. I'm going to be strapped. Oh. Three, four. Drags Twain across the top rope. His face has to be on fire right now. He's got the boot on the throw to Twain in the corner. One, two, three. Yeah, you know what Spider should do? What is that? Take one of those spiky hairdos and stick it in his eyes. You touch, touch one of them things? Yeah. You let me touch one. He oh. Touch one. Hit him right on the back of the head. That don't hurt Twin. Oh! Slaps him right across the chest. He just got tattooed. Owie. Oh, locked to the corner. Oh! Swing and a miss. Twain gives the old spider a chop. Swings the arm over. Chops him again. Chops him again. Twain going to the opposite side of the ring, gets a running start, and catches a boot to the gut in return. Spider picks him up, up and over for a suplex. Flat on his back on the mat. Spider, one, two. Oh, oh, with a discus clothesline. One, two. Spider kicks out at two. That was some fire there for Mr. Twain. You seem rather upset by that, Carl. Oh. Oh, he's catching blows to the midsection right now from Spider. Spider's got him hooked up. Oh, and he's raking the face. No. Hold him down. Yeah, yeah, he is. He's holding on by his nose. A neck breaker. Yeah, I don't think Spider's that friendly. Well, he would pull one of those things, one of his hairs up his nose to get that out of there. Right, Carl, right. Oh, knee to the back, right to the back and the back of the neck. He's taking every bit of that five count from the ref. Well, he's doing a smart move. He can't do power moves. He can't do a lot of moves. He'll hurt arm. But you can lay him over the ropes and choke out living and cut out of him. You can put boots to him. You can jab your hair in their eyeballs. You can do anything you want. Save that arm. He's 
Oh, whips him over. Things are not looking good for the everyday challenger here right now, Carl. Well, little scrappy new is sitting there yelling. Oh. Everyday challenger, everyday challenger is getting his butt whooped, and I love it. Well, Carl, you said earlier in this show that uh, if, well, you said you're so confident that Spider's going to win that you're going to strap the belt around the winner personally. You're a hundred percent sure of that, aren't you, Carl? Oh, I'm hundred percent of everything, baby. You know it's on the towel. I don't know. Things are looking good for Twain right now. Dropping the elbow on Spider's bad arm. Hooks the leg. One, two. Kick out at two. Both men are reeling on the ground. Oh, these men trading blows in the center of the ring, giving it everything they got, trying to be that inaugural SCW Cruiserweight Champion. Carl, how? Oh, he's got him locked up on the floor. Carl, what would it mean for somebody, one of these young up-and-coming stars right now, to be the first ever SCW Cruiserweight Champion? Brutal chop. And you're the first champ. You set the tone for this belt. You have to show that you're made of European <laughs> uppercut. Come on, Spider. This will be on one of these men's legacies forever. Being the first ever champion. Carl, what will it do to you if Twain wins? Although things are looking grim for Twain at the moment, we've seen him pull out victories we didn't expect would happen. The everyday loser is not going to win. Okay. The everyday loser is going to do what he does always do. But Carl, Carl, if he does win, you're going to have to strap oh, no, that. No, 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 no. You're going to have to strap that belt around his waist. I said the winner. You, yeah, if he wins. Oh, these men are up top. Up and over. Oh, Carl. My God, Carl. What in the world? Oh, I know spiders in pain. That does a lot of damage to your shoulder. A brutal superplex. Brutal, Carl. One, two. How do, What? Twain kicks out at two, Carl. That referee's looking at his nails again. You see that, Carl? He kicked out at two. That was amazing. What are these human eyes saying? I believe that the crowd is chanting, squash that spider. Oh! No, they're going, go, spider, go, you moron. Oh! Twain clubs it from the outside. Swing and a miss. Oh, and he catches an elbow to the jaw. Spider's got him. Oh, no. What's going to happen? Brings him around. Oh! How will Twain come back from this? Carl, the way things are looking right now, I, you know, it's it's possible that you're right. And with there not being a current champion, a countout would mean victory, and would mean Spider takes home this belt tonight. But look, Twain's up. Twain's up at eight, nine. Oh, he's back in. He broke the count. He beat the 10 count, Carl. One, 
Holt hooks him. One, two. He's got the rope. Spider's upset. Drags Twain to the middle of the ring. Hooks the leg. One, two. Oh, Twain kicks out at two. Spider's getting upset. What does he have? That's the piece of paper that Twain brought to the ring. Said it's his... Spider's ripping up a letter that Twain wrote to his deceased grandfather. Oh! Twain is losing his mind in the ring, beating Spider down with Lariat after Lariat. Oh, with a flying Lariat off the middle rope. Twain is showing more fire in this moment than I've ever seen him before. Twain goes again. Oh, he hits him with the epilogue. That's got to be it. One, two. Oh, he kicks out at two. He kicks out at two. Spider kicked out from the epilogue. Come on, Spider. Oh, my goodness. Carl. That was so close. Oh, Lord. You almost had to strap that belt around the waist of Twain. Uh-oh. He's bringing down the knee pad. Going again. Oh! Spider nails him with a knee. One, two. Twain kicks out at two. That's a two count. That's a two count, Carl. Just two. He just got the two. Twain kicked out. Come on, Spider. Spider, get the referee. I'm knocking him in the head with this. I mean, uh, come on, Spider. Hit him in the head. These men have poured it all out in this ring tonight, chasing the glory of being the first ever SCW Cruiserweight Champion. And now Spider has Twain. In the corner. Uh-oh. Twain's got him up. Twain's got him up. Power bomb. Oh, Twain's holding that back, which has taken so much damage in this match. Twain slowly getting to his feet. Spider beginning to stir. Oh, no. Twain's calling for it. Epilog! Carl, one, two, three. Twain wins! Twain wins! Twain wins! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you your it, winner you and the it, first Carl. ever. First ever. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and first ever SCW Cruiserweight Champion, the Everyday Challenger, Troy Twain. I do believe he is now the Everyday Champion.
What an absolute showstopper that was. We finally have our inaugural SCW Cruiserweight Champion in the Everyday Challenger, wait, the Everyday Champion, Troy Twain. Okay. After gaining a victory via countout against SCW Heavyweight Champion Leo Keegan, Anthony Coletti was given a title shot at WrestleFest. Now, was that victory a fluke win for Coletti? We'll just have to see. Let's get it on down to Rich in the ring for the introductions. Get off my belt! Well, I knocked you sideways, Carl. All right, this match has begun. Leo Keegan jumped Coletti before the bell. We're just going to have to see what happens. And Carl got a death grip over here on the SCW Heavyweight Championship. Well, he don't want you guys giving it to Coletti when he doesn't win it. Well, Carl, I wouldn't be so sure about your man tonight. You were 100% sure that Spider was going to win. Well, Spider was hurt. I didn't know he was hurt. You didn't tell me he was hurt. I thought he was your boy, Carl. Shouldn't you have known that your boy was hurt? Oh! Well, me and the champ have been busy all day. Yeah? Preparing, finding the weakness of this sloppy slammer. So, what, so why is it that you're holding the title right now, Carl? Because we don't want that man grabbing the title when he didn't win it. That's why. You guys like to take the titles and give it to people that don't earn it or don't deserve so it. what are you, some kind of insurance policy now, yes, Carl? that's right. Are you Keegan? No! Yeah! Are, are you Keegan's little lackey? What? I ain't no lackey. I don't know, Carl. I saw you get down on your knees and worship a man in a cutoff shirt. is the greatest thing since sliced bread, baby. Carl, we all know you don't slice your bread. You eat it by the loaf. I don't... That's you. I saw how you destroyed the Thanksgiving food that I brought here for a whole group of people, I might add, and you ate all of it. You're like that bus driver that eats all the school lunches. No, no. I was the kid that ate all school lunches and blamed it on the bus driver. Ha-ha! <laughs> right, now, right now, Keegan is in control of Coletti. Coletti's getting back up to his feet. Look, Coletti, you ain't getting this. Oh. You're not getting this, Coletti. <laughs> Coletti's catching forearms and elbows to the side of the head. Oh, well, got the we knee started to off him. the night with three belts on the table. We've got one right here in my possession. Yeah, you're holding on to that thing tight. So when Leo Keegan wins, we can run out of here and go party like we're supposed to. You are very confident you're going to be handing that belt back to Keegan. The only reason Keegan lost it the first time is because he oh. got hurt. I don't and know. And then somehow the war chicken one. got the belt. Oh, one count, and he got the rope. Keegan is upset about that. Well. I don't know how this. Oh. Well, Mr. Gut Letty here, been losing every match. He got lucky and won one match by count out or disqualification. But That's how I know he's not going to win. He's a loser. You know, Carl, for being somebody who preaches winning at any cost, you seem to be downing a man who won. He got lucky. That's not a reason to get a title shot. Because you, oh, it. Because you got to this. beat people for it. Coletti's getting the advantage, driving the shoulder into the midsection of Leo Keegan. Uh-oh. He's got Keegan up. Oh! Yeah! But Keegan was just too much. One, two, two three. It's over. We're Coletti going home. Coletti kicks out at two. Coletti okay. kicks out at two. Oh, double axe handle blow onto the back. Clubbing forearm again. Driving the oh. face into the mat. That'll help his face. Again. There you go. That'll make him look pretty. Pretty ugly. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh! Again. I don't think you can hurt that face any more than, you, than it already has. Hooks a leg. One, two. Kicks out at two again. Come on Keegan's now. He's getting upset. Two count only. Two count only. 
But that should have been a three count. Keegan's getting Come on, upset. Come on, champ. Come on, champ. Grab them tights. Coletti's holding on, but now Keegan's got him in a headlock. Is this going to be enough to make Coletti tap? Nope, really Can Coletti smart. muscle his way out of this? If champ smart and he uses my idea, slide that arm where your arm pitch right over his nose and rub it in there, buddy. Make him stop breathing for a while. The ref's act. Make an armpit, keep your arm down. Whoa, dang. Is that you over there stinking up a storm? I'll have you know that I have a very good deodorant. An antiperspirant, in fact. You won't see no sweat stains under these bad boys. I ain't looking, that's for sure. Eyeballing me, Carl. You've been rough all night, and your guys have been losing one after the other. No, 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 no. Can, here's the man. Oh, jawbreaker from Coletti. He's his steak out of a straw. Oh, stiff lariat from Coletti. Another lariat taking Keegan to the ground. Whoa! Coletti leaves his feet for a drop kick. Did you see that, Carl? The... The gut, gut, oh, gut, gut lady. Keegan rolls out. Will Coletti chase him to the outside? Gut lady did it. He Coletti, got up Coletti there. Coletti staying in the ring. Or should I call him Boar Letty? Because he bores the heck out of me. The ref's up to a count of three. Take the count out. Take the count out. Take the belt on, baby. Coletti, belt Coletti will win the match if the ref counts out Keegan but he will not win the title. Take count out. Take count out. Take count out, brother. Go home. We'll go home. Then we go party all night. We got the root beer on ice, baby. Let's go. Keegan seems to be wanting Coletti to win via count out. Coletti keeps breaking the count out. Come on now. Just let him go to the 10 and get it over with. This is the only way Gut Letty's going to win. The Gutster. Uh oh. The Gutty Wuddy Ding Donger. The Letty's outside now. Here comes the Gutty Boy. What's going to happen? Keegan's back in the ah, ring. Now Coletti's outside. Slide in so you can get hit. Now what's Gut, gut Boy doing? What's Boredom Boy doing? Ah, Coletti motioning that Keegan is a chicken. He's showing his chicken dance? I don't want to just look at... Da -na 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 -na. We are not at... We're not at a funeral, man. Did you just have flashbacks to the skating rink, Carl? Oh, double X handle blow to the chest of Coletti. Now clubbing hey, forearms. Give him a black eye. Bloody Keegan, nose. Oh, oh, there you go. Knee to the one. face. Yeah. Coletti on his back, and the champ is just brutalizing him with those slaps. Yeah. The champ. The champ reminding everyone exactly who he is. The man who has been on top of SCW for two plus years. The only time he wasn't in the main event was when he was out on injury. The only loss he has sustained is a count out loss to Anthony Coletti. This man has not been pinned. This man has not been submitted. Can Coletti overcome no. these odds tonight no. and walk away no. with the beautiful no. SCW no. Heavyweight Championship. No. Right now, it's not no. looking good, Carl. No. Right now, Coletti is down on his knees. He seems out of gas. He, he seems to be mercy. in full pain. He's saying, please don't beat me no more. Please don't beat me. Let me lose and go home. Let me lose oh. and go home. Keegan is brutalizing Coletti. All right, here we go. We're One, done. We're done. We're going two. Home. But... Coletti two count kicks on. out ah. at two. Come on, buddy. Belt's right here on my shoulder waiting to go home. Oh! Keegan drops an elbow. What'll he do now? 
I say he jumps right on that big old belly. Oh, oh, brutal leg drop. <laughs> Grabs the leg. One, two. Coletti still kicks out at two. Keegan seems to be losing patience. Nope, oh, Keegan drops the elbow. elbow. Elbow from the champ to now, the chest of the challenger. If Keegan's smart, he would jump up and put his butt right on his belly and smash it as hard as he could. Make him. Oh, oh no. Keegan drops the elbow, but Coletti gets out of the way. Oh, Keegan Rebound. tries again. Oh, no. No, Coletti no, no, moves no, no, again. No, no, no. Coletti's up. Double ah. X handle blow to the champ. No. Coletti's up again. Another X no. handle Come blow. On. Come on, Keegan. We, we talked One more. about this. Then Keegan. that's three. Come on. He ain't got nothing. All he Coletti got is pulling a up ugly Keegan. face and a Takes big belly. Takes Keegan. Throws him into the top turnbuckle. Come on, Keegan. Galetti takes Keegan and whips him into the corner. Oh. Scoops him up. Can he get it this time? Slams him down flat on his back. Keegan, I'm headed for the car, buddy. Come on. He rolls him. One, two. Keegan oh. kicks out at two. One, two. Keegan again kicks out at two, Carl. All right, Gut Letty, the Gut Boy is up. Big boot to the champ's oh. face. Come on, champ, get up, champy. Come on, champy. Coletti looks exhausted, but he's still got fire within him. Oh, he's a loser, and we all know it. He hasn't won nothing except. Oh, Coletti's got the champ by the beard. Oh. A stiff boot to the chest. He's supposed to be a good guy. Keegan's He's no down. pulling hair. That means no pulling beards. Galetti's got him up. Oh, what's he going to do? Oh. Hey, oh. He's pulling the hair. Pulling the Fertilizing hair, Fertilizing the neck of the champion. No, he's pulling the hair. I see it. He's pulling the hair, if Raph. If he was pulling the hair, the ref would call it. Oh, ref's, ref's in the pocket of Galetti just like you are. Carl, you know I couldn't fit in anybody's pocket. What? Oh, headbutts him in the gut. Oh, oh. Blows to the midsection from Keegan. Oh. Yes. Gloves him right in the Big face. Big shot to the face. I don't like it. Oh, no. Coletti rolls to the outside. Keegan, Keegan is down on the mat. Come on, Keegan. Take the count out, Keegan. Take the count out. I know. Go out there and beat on him a little bit. Then take the count out. Come on, Keegan. Come on, Keegan. The ref's counting. Coletti circles the ring. Oh. Here we go, champ's going in. Oh. Oh, oh he pulls the legs. Go let him pull the champ Coletti out. Drops Keegan. Here we go. Oh! Disqualification! Disqualify oh, him! He repeatedly blows the head of Keegan into the apron and into the ring. Post. Why isn't this referee disqualifying him? Uh-oh. And oh! No! Keegan gets ran right into the apron. Keegan is down outside of the ring right now. Takes a stiff kick from Coletti. Coletti rolls in, breaks up the count, rolls back out. Come on, come on, champ. You better hold tight to that championship, everybody, Carl. Everybody, Things are looking dark. Everybody Things in the are looking corner. dark for the champ. Everybody in the champ's corner, get ready. Get ready, have the car in the back. I'm ready, I'm ready to run with Marina. Meet me in the back, guys. Meet me in the back, guys. Come on, have that car running. I'll meet you. 
Champ, we'll meet you. Well, Coletti's Come coming back into the ring. Keegan stirring to his feet. Come on, Champ. Oh, Come boot on, to champ. the gut. Clubbing <laughs> arms to the back. Elbow. Ah. Whips Coletti into the corner. Come on, Champ. Come on, Champ. You can do it, Champ. Here we go. We're going. Oh. We're going. Beer. Down, home. Bye-bye. Let's go. Come on. Gets him with a spear. Hooks the leg. One, One two. two. Oh, he gets a hold of the rope. Why is he grabbing the rope? I thought he was this great guy. He could kick out and do all this great stuff. Why is he trying to grab the rope? Why? Gets a hold Loser. of the rope. Oh, no. Where's Keegan going? Carl. Where's the, the top, champ baby. going? To the top. Go, Keegan, go. Carl, where's go, the Keegan, champ go. going go, right Keegan, now? Go, go, Keegan, go. It's for the last, baby. Oh, oh, he goes for a swanton and misses. No, 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 Coletti no, no. Coletti moves out of the way. No, 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 no. Coletti has the champ. No, Kicks him in the gut, takes him. Oh, hits him with what? the Coletti twist. No. One, no. two. Three, new champ, new champ, Coletti wins, Carl Coletti and wins. And your winner and new SCW World oh, Heavyweight give Champion, no. Anthony no. Coletti. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, your new SCW World Heavyweight Champion, Anthony Coletti! After that brutal encounter that we just witnessed, we all know that that was no fluke victory. Congratulations to Anthony Coletti, your new SCW Heavyweight Champion. Please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you catch up on all our news and updates on our Facebook page and on our website, southcentralwrestling.com. For Carl Mayhem and Rich, I'm Claire Baldwin. This has been SCW Rewind.